AWS Fundamental Specialization. Currently, this is the most popular AWS learning program on Coursera. There are over 30,000 students enrolled, and the general score isn't bad either. 4.6 out of 5. But is it really worth your time? Hey folks, my name is Daniel, and today I am going to talk about AWS Fundamental Specialization on Coursera. So, things I am going to cover in this review are Course overview, structure and content, pricing and certification, career opportunities. Traditionally, we will look at some student reviews, and I will let you know what I personally think about this course series. Also, guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts. Let's start. Overview. Alright, so what is AWS Fundamental Specialization is all about? Well, guys, in this course series you will dive into the world of Amazon Web Services. Whether you are already working in the field or looking to jump in, this course will give you a solid overview of what AWS offers. And this is not a huge learning program by any standards. There are just three courses here. But I have to say, guys, you still get a solid amount of content. You will get to know the core AWS services inside out, understand key security concepts, and learn strategies for moving from on-premises setup to AWS. And you will even dip into building several less applications. And the great thing about it is that you won't just be listening to lectures. You will get hands-on experience with labs and exercises designed by AWS technical instructors. This means you will be able to practice what you learn and really get a feel for working with AWS. By the end of this specialization, you are expected to have a solid understanding of AWS features, security, migration strategies, and building serverless applications. And to give you a better idea, here is what you will learn. First up, you will know when and how to use key AWS services for computing, storing data, and managing databases. This means you will be able to make smart decisions for different scenarios. Next, you will get to know foundational security concepts. You will learn about important ideas like least privilege and the shared responsibility models. These are key to keeping your AWS setup secure. Moving on, you will dive into detective controls. This includes tools like Amazon Cloud Trail, AWS Security Hub, Amazon Guard Duty, and AWS Config. These help you keep an eye on what's happening in your AWS environment and detect any unusual activity. And finally, you will tackle encryption. You will learn how to encrypt data when it's at rest, not actively being used, in motion, being transferred, and the best practices for storing data securely across different AWS services. Prerequisites. Here is the thing, guys. If you look at the specialization description, it says that it's beginner-friendly, and you need no prior experience to enroll. However, keep in mind that the first course here requires that you have a technical background. And like I said, this is a pretty small learning program. So it really won't take you long to complete. Based on some feedback I have seen, students have been able to complete it in a month or less. So keep that in mind. Structure and content. Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in the return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the content I make, that's all. Now, the three courses included in this specialization take from 6 to 25 hours to complete. Each one of them includes four modules. And here are these courses and what they are about. AWS Cloud Technical Essentials. In this course, you will build apps step by step. By the end, you will confidently use core AWS services for computing, storing data and managing databases. You will cover cloud security, AWS shared responsibility model, and IAM, plus learn to monitor and optimize your cloud infrastructure. AWS Cloud Technical Essentials gives you the fundamental skills for innovation, and professional growth. It's all about building your confidence with practical cloud skills. Migrate into the AWS cloud. This course is for those diving into AWS migration. You will learn the three-phase process – assess, mobilize, and migrate and modernize. And of course, you will learn about AWS tools for each stage. By the end, you will know how to plan and implement migrations to AWS. 
whether it's a few apps or hundreds. Architecting solutions on AWS. And this final course is your gateway to becoming an AWS Solution Architect. You will use practical scenarios to learn how to build resilient and highly available solutions in the AWS cloud. Each week you will tackle a new customer scenario. You will learn to choose the best AWS services for the job and design the architecture on the whiteboard. You will also learn about event-driven architectures, purpose-built AWS services, hybrid setups, and multi-account strategies for security and cost. And like I said, folks, it's not just all theory. You will get hands-on practice with what you learn. There are labs and exercises developed by AWS technical instructors. This means you will be able to apply your knowledge in real-world scenarios. And I think that's great! Price and certification value Alright, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So, when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And guys, I totally understand, months of subscription sounds like a lot. But based on some feedback, I have seen some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Now, let's talk about certification. When you successfully complete the entire certification program, you will also get a career certificate. And it can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But folks, let me be straight with you. In my opinion, the practical skills and knowledge you gain here are more valuable than the certificate itself. Based on my experience, employers are often more impressed by your professional knowledge and skills than the certificates you hold. Career opportunities So, as I am sure many of you wondering, does this program help you find a job? Well, guys, I can say that potentially it does. Because this course teaches you some solid skills. And that kind of knowledge can definitely boost your chances of finding a better paying job. On the other hand, it's not designed to prepare you for a job search. It's made to teach you some skills to add to your existing skill set. That's why, guys, it's completely up to you if you want to use it as a stepping stone in your career or just a way to extend your knowledge. In any case, it's likely you will need to take some other courses or learning programs. Moreover, according to my experience, some interview preparation will be necessary too, especially if landing a high-paying position is your goal. Student reviews Ok, folks, time to look at some student reviews. Well, I can say that the majority of reviews for this course are pretty positive. The majority of students know that this course series is well structured and all the complex concepts are well explained. Here is one of the positive reviews I found, for example. Really good course. The instructors have obviously spent time on this and took the extra effort to explain every concept with real-world example and not just give the theory about the different AWS services. Highly recommended. Maybe not enough to just do this course and then take the Solutions Architect Associate exam, but actually follow the resources and read more on the AWS website and you should be good to go. So keep that in mind, guys. Is the AWS Fundamental Specialization worth it? And finally, here is the main question. Is this specialization worth your time and money? And I would say, as an introduction to AWS, it's a great option. It provides a brief but detailed overview of Amazon Web Services in just three courses. One standout feature is the heads-on experience with labs and exercises developed by instructors. So, people, I highly recommend this course series. Alright, my fellow developers, and that's all I want to say about the AWS Fundamental Specialization on Coursera. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time!